So many people go on a gluten-free diet and continue to have symptoms, continue to struggle despite the diagnosis, despite their compliance to diet. They're still having GI symptoms. They're still going back to their doctor and their doctor's finding inflammatory markers and other issues with them. Why is this the case? Well, there's a lot of reasons why, but in this newest research study, um, the authors point to three specific medications that can actually sabotage your gluten-free diet. So check this out. This study published in Alimentary Pharmacology and Therapeutics had this to say, duodenal injury persists in some celiac disease patients despite gluten-free diet and is associated with adverse outcomes. Now, if you go down in the study and look at the results, you can see here villus atrophy was associated with the use of proton pump inhibitors, non anti-inflammatory drugs, as well as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Now, what are, these, what are these drugs? PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, are drugs that block acid. So if you've got a history of acid reflux or been diagnosed with acid reflux and your doctor's got you prescribed these drugs, but you're also gluten sensitive, remember, that might sabotage your diet. Number two, if you've been prescribed non anti-inflammatories, drugs like Celebrex, there are also over-the-counter non anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, uh, naproxen is an example of an NSAID. These medications strip away the lining of the GI tract, so they've been, it's been known for quite a while that these drugs aren't good for the gut, but again, persistent symptoms in people going on a gluten-free diet who are using this medication. And in that third class, the SSRI class, those drugs are antidepressants, but they're also sometimes used in patients who have chronic pain. So they're sometimes used as pain management medications, especially in, in diseases like fibromyalgia. So if you're on an SSRI like Prozac or Paxil, you want to take note, if you are gluten sensitive, these medications may be perpetually increasing your GI tract damage. So again, be warned, if this is you, you should have a follow-up conversation with your doctor about these different medications and talk about other potential options that might not land you in that hot water. Now you should also check out, I've got a video right here on how certain blood pressure medications can mimic celiac disease and gluten damage, and another video on how many different medications can destroy the GI tract. You're gonna to wanna to be aware of all those, so check those out.